Good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm here. Who's here? Pop in and leave me a comment. Oh my god, I'm back. I'm back. We're back. It's 2021. Hi, Kay. Hello, everybody. Back. Okay. I have no idea what we're doing today. All right. Let's see. Ready, set, aim. Get that? First off, what I'll do, I'll share the bag at another time, but... Welcome back, everybody. I am Tracy Weinsaffle. This is my studio. But quite honestly, mostly everything I create comes out of this bag. So I want to break it down today for you. First off, I just want to say it is January 6th. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, my chair needs to be adjusted. It's okay. Sorry. How to fix my chair. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you for saying you enjoyed my demo. Hi, Joyce. So I just want to say, hi, Joyce. Uh, I just got off the phone. Uh, today I had a really uh, interesting day. I had a good day. Um, Joyce in Orlando, Florida, by the way, owns a store, BoQ Creations, I think, is how you say that. And she invited me to take over her Facebook Live on Friday, next Friday. I hope we're confirming this. Um, otherwise, I look like a real bad person. Friday, Friday, next Friday. What is that? The 15th at 9 a.m. my time. Okay? So um, I've got more information around that. Uh, by the way, uh, Joyce is located in Florida as well. There she is. Perfect. So um, I just literally got off the phone. We were both trying to figure out some things. So thank you, Joyce. Um, welcome. I'm just going to go down the line and welcome a few friendly faces, but I cannot welcome all 83 of you. Uh, Sharon, Joyce, Karen, Claudia, Lisa with two S's. Uh, Lisa with one S, who is my friend on the other side of town, Linda, Lynn, uh, Julianne Deer, uh, Karen, Susan, Kay, thank you so much, Kay, Diane, hi Lisa with two S's, Lisa with one S, um, Anne, and by the way, who works for your artful journey, um, Judy, Gail, um, Linda, hi Linda MacArthur, Connie, uh, hi Connie in Monterey, T Tennessee, uh, Susan from Georgia, um, Donna, Karen, uh, Clarice, Marty, Karen, uh, Robin in Michigan. All right, I think I caught up. So um, I'm just going to talk for a couple minutes. Uh, my heart's heavy, not going to get into things. I'm going to say that today at noon I did a demo on Jelly Arts. I literally felt heavy hearted. Uh, if you're in the States, uh, probably you're feeling the same way. Um, I'm not, this is not a political conversation. I don't choose for it to be, and I'm not going to do that. But, uh, just a heavy, uh, just, just heavy hearted. I, I posted today, uh, a, a wonderful picture. Uh, for me, it's just a moment. Um, I posted a picture of a really hot cowboy because I like cowboys and it says today's a good day to pray for our nation. So um, that's it. That's all I want to say about that. And then I, I had to get on and be creative in the midst of all that and literally was like the show must go on. I did do a demonstration for Dirt, uh, Jelly Arts today, which was really fun and kind of kickstarted my creativity. Um, it got me thinking today because a lot of you know me know me. Some of you have met me. Uh, uh, if you've met me and know me, uh, you can pop in and say that. Um, if you haven't met me, uh, creativity has always been my choice of therapy. 
Now, keep in mind, also been to therapy. I am not a therapist. I've never gone to school for it. I can just tell you what has worked for me. I'm going to give you a brief recap of who Tracy Weinzaffel is. Tracy Weinzaffel is pretty diverse. She's gone through some great times in her life, been very fortunate. She's also gone through some bum times in her life. She has stepped away from her creativity uh, for various reasons. Um, one being a divorce. I got a divorce. Uh, that happens. That happens. Death, divorce, moving. Marty said, I would love to meet you. I love this. I love everyone who's saying to know you is to love you. I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. But uh, yes, I will be in Oklahoma in May. Fingers crossed. Um, so it is very healing. So in times like this, I talked about this today with Jelly Arts. I find it to come from a really great space of kindness. Um, I know at the beginning of the year, everybody is like, I'm going to get a planner. I'm going to be a new me. I'm going to lose 48 pounds. You're not going to recognize me in four days. Well, in four days, you might not be doing that. But I personally don't make resolutions. I have always gone to my art journal as a safe space. I can look at it. I can say, this is where I was. Uh, this was the day before I had to go to court, and I was very afraid of the said person that I had divorced. Uh, if anybody watched This Is Us last night, I'm not going to, there's no, um, there's no uh, spoiler here. If you listen to Kate's speech, I literally wanted to be her and give that speech. Yeah, just to be a good human. That's it. Um, so if you, if you watch This Is Us and... Um, Hi, Oscar. I'm sharing my life story. By the way, I know Oscar personally and have danced with him. So now I'm, that was in my 20s. Anyway, so I escaped those times and, uh, you know, uh, rebuilt my life. Rebuilt my life. Art journaling was one of those things that helped me uh, ground myself, be present, um, really not, you know, like write my cares away, but draw my cares away. I I feel like I became more purpose driven versus just like feeling like the eight ball. I was always behind the eight ball. Uh, I will not cry, she says. And I'm not a resolutions person. I am definitely a um, one word person. If you've ever read the book, One Word That Will Change Your Life, um, I went back um, people are probably hearing this for the 10th time because I've already been live today. But I went back to 2011. I didn't go back to 2004 because I'm senile and I don't need to know that many words. Um, but I wrote down all of my words, except for I can't remember 2019. I think 2019 was my blur. Um, trust, patience, breathe. I didn't like the word breathe because everybody would say just breathe. By the way, you don't have a choice. If you're not breathing... Having somebody say, just breathe, isn't going to help you. All right. Believe, write, as in W-R-I-T-E. I was supposed to write a book that year. It didn't happen. Um, Oscar wrote, you're a results person. I said, I was supposed to write a book that year. Didn't happen. Um, more, 2016. 2017 was purpose. 2018 was power. 2019 was a blur. I think it was sore or grace. I don't remember. 2020 was Empower. Uh, I struggled for 2021 because I've been a little, well, busy. I've been busy. Um, but I've been really focused on changes in my life. Um, somebody once said, create the life that you want to live in. I have it on a mug. I don't, I don't know who wrote, said it. It's probably somebody famous. Um, my, but my therapist had that, said that years ago, create the life you want to live in. So that's really what I've really done. And I do live in a life that I love to live in. It's a little crazy, but, um, so I picked my word for 2021. I was thinking about learn. I was thinking about focus. Uh, I was thinking about achieve the, 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 the. I, and I like action words. You know, I do try to be kind, so I don't, you know, like, I do try to be kind, so it was like, not kindness. Um, yeah, 2020 was in the toilet. 
So here's my word of the year. And I discussed this with your Artful Journey members. Last night we had an overextended wine with wine. It's private. It was for them. It was, we went an hour and a half. I was just a, a creativity, like it was pouring out of me and I couldn't stop. My word for 2021 is aim. Uh, and that has a couple of meanings. Um, and I actually wrote the meanings in my book. Point toward a target or a goal, direct an object or a weapon, which, by the way, on Saturday, I am going to the shooting range to get certified again and getting my own gun. Uh, have the intention of achieving a purpose or intention, a desired outcome, purpose, goal, aim high, soar. Okay, so, uh, and by the way, before anybody r reads me the riot act, sends me a DM, it's for the sport of it. I was born and raised in the Midwest, and um, I'm going for the target part of it. Don't think anything else. It's, I'm getting it in teal. Nothing else. Okay? Uh, but that's been something I uh, have been wanting to do forever. So before I get the DMs, I'm not... Won't even entertain them. Um, thank you for saying last night was great. If you're curious about your artful journey and being a member, membership is closed right now, you can get on the wait list. Um, it was an hour and a half. It was all videotaped. I do need to download it. Somebody just said, I find, oh, Karen said, I find shooting at the range to be great therapy. So I do too. And it's been a long while. I want my own gun. I, it's just me, you know gonna be uh just also so you know i was there last weekend um also i uh, was there last weekend <laughs> lots of guys hang out there i mean it's coincidence right i mean i don't know maybe i mean some of them seem younger <laughs> yeah getting certified the safety the whole night i've already done it in my life but i'm 50 now and i forget so um yeah, thank you. Last night was amazing. Last night, I, I literally couldn't, other than having to go eat, you know. Yes, you can get on the wait list. Go to yourartfuljourney.com. At the top, it says click on wait list. I think Anne, who is my social media guru, can probably go do that for you and give you a link. Yeah, um, I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with taking up sports that expand your horizons. <laughs> okay now I want to talk to you guys I will end I will do a demo I will promise if anybody has any questions about art journaling I'm going to lay it all out there if you have any not at all not at all Oscar don't get any ideas I am going to answer any questions you have if you want to I'm going to pull out my basic supplies right now I love skeet shooting by the way I've been and I absolutely love it um so uh, the other thing about me is I do tend to be high strung uh, and believe it or not shooting, although when I went to the range last weekend, every time somebody shot, I was like this. So um, it's, it's good for you. <laughs> I need something that you do have to be focused. So today with uh, Jelly Art, they were, they, so they just want me right back. I put, this is the book we started with the art journal kit. So um, I'll be working in this book as well. But my word of the year is in here. So um, if you have any questions, I'm going to unpack my bag or unpack and show you what supplies I keep on hand. Uh, Dorothy said I went skydiving for my 40th over 20 years ago, and it's still the coolest thing I've ever done to this day. Dorothy, I have this thing. Uh, when, I was in, when I turned 40, I went in a hot air balloon. When I turned... 41, I went in a biplane, the two, uh, 42, I went in a helicopter, and then it was like, 43, should I go bungee jumping or out of a perfectly good plane? No. Draw the line. I draw the line. Where can you get this book? Oh, this book right here, if you go to Jelly Arts, I could probably give you the link. It comes in this kit. It's called the... Um, 
art journal kit and you can use code TracyW and save, but you're a store owner, um, Joyce, I could put you in contact with the owner and we could do a live doing this kit. So this is the uh, art journal kit and it comes in this kit. So that's what I was doing today. You can go to Jelly Art. You can go to my YouTube channel. Okay. I jumped with a guy on my back. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not a perfectly good airplane. Uh, I literally would uh, wet myself and that would be embarrassing. And I would be one of those people with my hands on the door and Somebody asked me to even do the indoor skydiving, and I thought, no, not going to happen. So could you see me jumping out of an airplane? I mean, that poor person strapped to my back would want to unstrap me just because I would be so crazy. Uh, yeah. And the helicopter, by the way, that I went in, it was in Hawaii, and the whole time I was like this, bad idea. Mm-mm, bad idea. Um, so, but thank you for the suggestion. If I, if you come up with any other ideas, when I turned 50, it was COVID, so I couldn't do anything adventurous, but, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, I, it's so crazy. So, uh, and I have things on my bucket list. I want to go water skiing again. I want to go snow skiing again. Uh, I wanted to get my, uh, gun. I wanted to get a gun. I already talked to the gunsmith. Uh, he told me I could bring in paint. They're going to, um, Oh, 42 was zip lining. 43 was something else. Um, the helicopter ride. I could bring in whatever teal color I want, and I'm going to get the gun smith in a different color. I wonder what color. Teal. All right. So back to what we're talking about today. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, if you've never seen me before and wonder what I do, this is my art journal, by the way. This is one of them. I have thousands of them. I mean, not thousands. Oh, February. Um, I, I want to make mention of the postcard challenge. You guys are always asking me for challenges. Next week is the postcard challenge. $10. You will do, I just recorded this video. This one is pre-recorded. You will do five postcards, one a day next week with me. You get all the designs for all nine. Um, it is live. It is with me, but you can always catch the replays. Oh, that one's upside down. Okay. Got it. Got it. That's next week. Hopefully, Anne can give you again. The, I'm, I'm going to just tell you that we're doing another challenge in February, and that's hearts. And it's technique-based. Okay. All right. So this is my actual book. This was last month's Wine with Wine for my members only. By the way, I do a lot of time-lapse videos, and somebody said, could you please slow all these down? I'm like, mm. yeah. Sorry, that's the time I spend with my members. Uh, so this is my actual book. This is stuff that, oops, forgot, <laughs> forgot to finish you. Um, some of it is lessons. So your Artful Journey members, I wonder what color we're doing in March. Um, all right, this was just, I have so much, and I, I've got backgrounds already done. Um, so this is my book, and here's my other fetish. I, I love you. We're going to do so many techniques. Wait till we get to. I can't remember. I think it's February. So fun. All right. This was camping. This was in bed the other night. I've been obsessed with sun rises and sunsets. I was on vacation. So this was uh, my morning meditation for the other morning. This was from a picture that I took, and I'm just playing around. But in April, we already talked about this with your Artful Journey members. This was what I drew this morning. Um, we're going to be uh, doing sunrises and sunsets the Tracy way. I don't know if that's a good way. But this was uh, this morning, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay? Um, I'm talking myself into not overthinking. All right. It's, uh, I'd like to learn how to do waves. Okay. 
just like this, um, there's the queen's wave. Okay, that's a little bit more of a back and forth motion that's in the, like a back of a fancy car. There's a Tom Hanks like Forrest Gump wave. Okay, then there's your standard. Is that good, Lisa? <laughs> yeah, by the way, your Artful Journey members, you're going to have a whole month of freaking sunrises and sunsets. That's all I've been painting. All right. So I'm going to unpack right now. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use. Uh, let's hope my camera works today because it didn't work earlier. All right. Ah, uh, look at that. <laughs> really, Lisa, it's not difficult, but if you have arthritis, maybe in the elbow or tendonitis, you might want to do more from the hand, not from the elbow. <laughs> okay, first you need an art journal. You can pick any one. The, um, I, I, I do a lot with these. They're in and out pages. This is Grumbacher. I love it. Um, this is five and a half by eight and a half. I use watercolor. Mixed media is just as fine. I like watercolor. I like the thick pages. What journal are you using now, please? This is the one I'm using now. This is the one that comes in the Jelly Arts book, uh, Jelly Arts kit. I love this just as much. This is acrylic paint. And this is a Hanamua book that is um, stapled or sewn, depending on which one you got. I actually sewed mine because it was stapled. Okay, so that's another one that I love. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, journals, uh, you, soft cover, hard cover. I will tell you, I wouldn't recommend deviating from something that is mixed media or watercolor. Um, people wonder all the time, can you create on both sides? Yes, you absolutely can. Watercolor paper is actually, um, prepped for watercolors on the front side. I don't tend to use both sides, but there's a reason for that because I have a licensing agent and sometimes I have to send them artwork for something and they don't want to tear out two pieces of art and send that to them. So I create on one side. A lot of people don't like the binding because then you can't create across the pages. You can um, create across pages. Uh, there's no reason why you can't. I tend to do borders. I didn't always do that. I've changed over time. So I just that's just something that keeps my book cleaner. Um, old books, the spine used to get really messy. Um, so that's you. You need a basic book. I mean, art journaling is kind of hard if. It's not, I mean, you can just use loose paper. I don't care. You can make your own book. Uh, are you going to draw on a jelly background? I haven't decided yet uh, quite what I'm going to do. I really think I'm just going to do a basic. Uh, this is a classic set of watercolors. Um, that's by Prima. If you're just starting out, this is a perfectly good way to start. These are praying watercolors that you can get off your kids. Um, as you move up, like I, this is Daniel Smith, uh, they sent, I work with them and I love their watercolors. Uh, these are more expensive, a little bit more vibrant. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to ever say, oh good, you love the heart. I'm not going to ever say I don't like a particular set of watercolors, but there are many that I do not like. They're chalky, they're cheap, they're inexpensive. Sometimes they're off label at big box stores. You do get what you pay for. If you're going to start in watercolors, I recommend a good old classic set. The reason I recommend that is because if you have the classic colors, look at how worn mine are. If you have the classic colors, you can mix them up and you can get every color of the rainbow. Okay? So that's my take on watercolors. Here is, I'm just talking basic supplies. You're getting started. You don't know where to do. I will promise I will do a half an hour drawing starting in nine minutes. Brushes, my favorite are Dynasty. I usually get a six, an eight, a four round and a liner brush, which is what I'm holding here. Um, these are some that I just carry around with me. They make these great water lily brushes that are in a beautiful color. Um, I can give you a code on that. I have a thing on Dynasty Brushes. Uh, if you want to email me or email support at yourartfuljourney.com and we can get that to you. I don't go overboard on brushes. Um, sometimes a flat. Um, uh, oh, 
there is nothing wrong. Uh, I just haven't prepped anything, and I've gotten so many questions about art journaling that I just really want to hit the basics. Sorry. Goddess. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's brushes. I don't obsess. Oh, it's always nice to have a good water brush, too. Water brushes have water in them. So if you're traveling or you're on a plane and you pull out a water brush, the guy next to you will be like, hmm, what's that? Um, my drawing pencils are really, my drawing pens, I should say, are typically, I, will, I use two of the same things. I buy them by the dozen. They're inexpensive. Sharpie, ultra fine and fine. Um, oh, the code for Jelly Arts is capital T-R-A-C-Y, capital W. Uh, and you might want to order that kit soon because I know they sold out the last time I did it. So fine and ultra fine. There's really nothing secretive about it. I just find they work really well and they're inexpensive. Micron, Faber-Castell, they make great ones. Here's the Faber-Castell set. Uh, you know, all different thicknesses, believe it or not. I use fine and ultra fine. The two white pens that I recommend, I don't use it a ton. Um, I don't use them a ton, but I do use them occasionally, and that's a Jelly Roll or a Uniball Signo. Um, so those are the white pens I use. And then the other thing that I use is a pencil called the Aquarellable Pencil. You'll see that all of mine are very little, but they are normally. It's by Stabilo. We'll talk about that. That's for shading and whatnot. Um, I know people are saying, I prepped for tonight. I'm sorry, I just do different stuff all the time. There's no prep. But um, I also recommend a good stencil brush, which this one is the best. It's so soft and smooth. I'll use it. Um, I have a great eraser by General Pencil. I mean, that's all that's really in here. Oh, and then I have, of course, like giant Sharpies that I use occasionally too. So um, I think, oh, painter's tape. I buy it in different thicknesses. I like a good painter's tape, okay? Um, I like to teach pa people to draw, so, um, but you can always use transfer paper, which we'll talk about. I, we're gonna talk about it next week's class. Ah, is there anything else that I'm missing? Your Artful Journey members, you guys know. Come on, uh, am I missing anything? Okay, sorry, my nose is scratchy, itchy. All right. So I promised a demo. I just wanted to break that down. What kind is essential brush? That's a dynasty. I love this thing. It's, oh God, it's so great. Look at this. You can get it to put your makeup on. That's a stencil. This is the Stencil Pro. I love the, their stencil brushes. They're soft. They are just amazing. Stencil Pro. And the 5 8 inch one is the one I use the most. Where did you get the smallest tape? I got that on Amazon. Um... I'm starting an Amazon affiliate store this year, too. Where did, yeah, uh, I think that, oh, good. Donna says I covered it all. I just really want to go over the basics. Some people say to me, I can't do it because it costs too much, and I don't have a studio like yours. You don't need it. I mean, I, I do a lot of stuff that is related to, this is my job. Um, I used to work for the paint company. I didn't have to buy all that. Um, so, you know, I, you don't need millions of dollars. You don't have to have a craft room. You, I carry all my stuff in a bag. That's it. I don't even know why this brush is hanging out in Lonely Land. Um, and if you take care of your stuff, it'll last for a long time. Uh, I use my watercolors down to look at the yellow. I mean, it's like these need to be... Oh, God, look at this. It's even coming out. Oh, But that's perfectly good. But do you see what I'm talking about? Like, use your supplies. Yes, I'm going to do an Amazon affiliate account. Just needed. We've talked about it. Okay, and Anne is giving the link to the postcard challenge. I um, love beginners. I love those who are advanced, those who have been going along with me. Oops, sorry. We just continue to build upon our um, build upon our skill set. Okay. All right. So where do I begin? Let's begin. Um, uh, Oh, that's really washed out. Why is that so washed out? Mm. I start at the very beginning. That's 
because my light is too bright and it's on top of me. No wonder I'm freaking tanning in this room. I have one of those oh, those ring lights and I'm literally sunburning myself. Okay. All right. So where do I begin? Yes, the Jelly Arts kit is new. It's under the DIY kit. And I can put you in connection, Joyce, to the owner because you have a store. So she might want to talk to you about it. Uh, all right. So let's get this back to... All right. Uh, I'm telling you, I get so excited to get in bed. This was last night. Well, this was this morning. Let's finish. All right. Um, I was going to do, I, I know I, I really messed up. I really was, and we can do this next week. I was going to draw in this, but I feel like if I'm going to really take this back to the beginning stage, I should just keep it basic. And I should talk to you about um, uh, getting started, breaking things down. And, you know, if you're welcome, Joyce, just drop me an email and we'll, we'll I'll get you connected right away. And then we'll do uh, something on your page with that. I love that. That's All right, so this is painter's tape. Uh, Maureen, I did, uh, today I was on Jelly Art's Facebook page. Maybe next week we'll use it in, in a, uh, in, uh, I, I did a full demo today in there. But exactly what I'm doing here, you could do in that page, that book. <laughs> um, Joyce, the answer is yes, I do. I fall asleep. Well, uh, here is the nice thing about sing being single. <laughs> I tend to sleep with a laptop and my art journal in the bed because I fall asleep with it in there. <laughs> Joyce's store is in Florida. Joyce, can you answer that question, please? All right, so I'm, I, I am going to, um, anything that you saw me, what I recommend, if you already have this out that we did today, I would start drawing in this when I get to the drawing part. Yep, Marianne, we're going to be doing that in your artful journey. I've decided, I think it's going to be April. Bed painting lessons, oh my God, I have the best, I have the best, so I'm, um, I'm going to do just a basic background right now, just while I'm talking. In fact, I'm going to pre-wet the page. You don't have to do this, but I just like to. It'll help spread the paint out. I'm going to put enough water in here. Okay. And then we'll do a quick drawing. I mean, this is going to be a quickie. Sorry, I did a little more talking than normal, but I get asked all the time, how do I begin? All right, so I'm just this is just pre-wet in the page. That's water. There's no magic potion. And then I'm going to come in here and use up the rest of this yellow that Uh-oh, did you lose the sound or did I go away? Can you guys still hear me? Now, it might look like I don't. Oh, um, Donna, I do recommend watercolors. <laughs> I have a, I do recommend watercolors. So you may be wondering, what do I have in mind now when I do this? Nothing. Sometimes there's a thought, sometimes there's a, Okay, good. If you can't hear, well, if you can't hear me, then me saying if you can't hear me doesn't do any good. Um, I would say hit restart. Doesn't that make sense? Oh, good. All right, so. The good news is this sort of looks like flowers, but I don't know what it's going to be, so. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be something like this. Let's just stick to big things. How about that? I don't 
don't always draw in um, shapes or anything. I just thought I would. Good. Look at this. I have. Um, and I got asked. Okay, what's the uh, stamp and belly stamp and scrap asked me to teach um, on their page on February 10th. So it was a good day in the my little neck of the woods. Uh, do, 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 do. I kind of am in a yellow, red, and phase. I don't understand why, but it seems to be that I am. So we're just going to, I'll change it up later. I feel like I just hit that phase hard. And I'm landing and staying there for a while. Well, I wish this would get a little darker. Come on. All right. So is this normally the my? Uh, I don't have a normal. Well, I guess I do. Oops. I would legit let this dry, but I did say this demo will be like 15 minutes, didn't I? Let's try and not make mud while we're here. Thank you. Well, wow, lots of people in Florida. Wish I was traveling. All right. So I would normally let things dry, but I'm not going to uh, go crazy. You know, that way the red doesn't go into the green and the green doesn't go into the red, but but who cares, right? Um, uh, great question, Anne. The set of watercolors I'm using is by Prima. It's the classic set. And it, yes, it's great for travel. It's, it just folds up. It's perfect for travel. I, um, now if you discover that because watercolors travel in the direction of the water, you can easily, if you get a ponding situation, you can easily just wipe it away. Um, that should blotting that up. Do you know why, uh, do I know why watercolors look grainy? Uh, it depends on the pigment. And yes, all pigments are created different. Some are more vibrant. Some are man like, uh, pigments that are natural in color tend to be more vibrant. Um, just like when you have a craft paint, they have binders and resins that are mixed in with the pigment. The pigment is the expensive part in the paint. The binders and resins are what bring the cost of the paint down. So it also depends on, a lot of times, it depends on what the color is. Um, and like I, I, I was saying early on, if um, there are many watercolors out there that you do get what you pay for, I find that this set uh, that I'm using tends to be really, it, they always dry lighter, so just so you know, they watercolors dry lighter, but you can go over it with a second coat. Um, but they, um, there are some that are, they're like chalk and they're just not great quality. So I'm, I'm big on once you get to discover, see, I use acrylics and I use watercolors. Um, I used to work for deco art. So I know I don't use oils. I get asked a lot about oils. I don't get, I don't use oils. I don't claim to know how to use them. The cleanup's too messy. I just, it hasn't been in my wheelhouse. That doesn't say I, I, I will never go there, but it just isn't my comfort zone. So um, that is, that's my talk about watercolors. I, I, I shifted a little bit more to watercolors when I returned back from post-divorce life because of portability and being able to like create my bedroom and not have to, well, first off, I wasn't really in my studio on a regular basis. So, um, I didn't want that excuse. Yeah. Pigment value. There's also, what's it called? Oh, um, oh shoot. There's a name for it. Uh, Joyce, I have not tried those. I know Elizabeth Craft Designs. 
My, I, I will, I'm going to be honest with you. My most favorite, and I feel like the most vibrant, is the Daniel Smith. I love Daniel Smith. I get asked a lot, too, do I use tube paints? Yes, I do use tube watercolors. Not as much. Uh, oh, I'm super impatient. This is a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. When I'm demonstrating, I know watching paint dry is like watching paint dry. So I try not to. Now with um, Joyce, uh, her store, and also the store in Wisconsin, um, I have a line of stamps with Dare to Be Artsy. I'm going to be doing a demo using theirs, uh, using those stamps. So it'll be in the art journal. They told me I could do whatever I want. I'm taking over their page. They're not going to tell me what to do. Joyce seems really uh, nice. <laughs> Kidding. She did seem nice, though. And um, enough that she's let me take over her Facebook page. And I did promise that I would not post naked photos of myself, but I told her at 50, the high probability was nobody wants to see it. Okay, this is just a Sharpie. Uh, oh, this is just what Kimberly needs tonight. So this is a Sharpie. And what am I going to do with this? You wonder? <laughs> We're wondering the same dang thing. Now, if you have any special requests, I could go in there and post whatever people would like to see. I'm sure Joyce would love it. <laughs> I just wouldn't have anybody upset me right now because I will be going in posting photos on Joyce's page. No, I'm kidding, Joyce. I'm not going to post anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nobody wants to see this mess. Oh, thank you, you guys. Uh... I just, we're just, we're just playing, right? We're just playing. Sometimes the page speaks to me, and right now it's saying, go away, you're weird. Uh, but we're just going to hang with it and see what happens. <laughs> uh, Julie, if you want to um, send, um, uh, now our support email goes to Anne, and then she'll forward me any questions. I take care of anything that needs to be taken care of. You might be wondering, what kind of flower is that? Uh, I'm wondering the same thing. So when you find out, call me. There is no, there is no rules on drawing and having to draw something that exists in nature. Now, I do, I do see a lot of flowers. Um, and I, I photograph a lot of flowers, but... Maybe that's a rose. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Tracy flower. Oh, do we have a birthday in the house? Um, and one thing I, I do um, noticed in my kit, I didn't, I had an eraser, but no pencil. Isn't that funny? Um, I genuinely, and we did this one time where I was experimenting and I said, oh, I'm going to use this erasable pen. It was the worst thing I ever did. Um, I don't like to uh, practice like all these like I I just like to write or draw random things and see where they go. Um, sometimes I have like a picture or something in mind or a flower and it's real and I'm practicing it. Or um, my art journal is a safe space. It's my own. I don't need to share it. So I do share pretty much everything. But there's crap ones that I I just go nah. But I, you know, I step away or like this flower, eh, it's not doing anything for me. Sometimes the watercolors, like this one was going to be different. Yeah, it's looking more like a poppy. And it was actually going to be when I was in my head, it was, but the, when I started looking at it, the watercolors themselves just went in a particular direction. So I, I just went with it. I, I don't know how to describe that other than. And I post so many things. Every week we do free demos here. So you, if you need support or questions, 
your Artful Journey members know that they that they're my people, they're my tribe, they're my everything. So we, oh my God, we have morning meditation, which I'm so thrilled about on Friday because I have been creating every day. I don't know what's going on with this one. Sometimes I get to the end of the flower and I'm like, oh, oops, don't know what that was. Um, I find that, yes, with a Sharpie, oh, we have so much fun, don't we, you guys? Um, I couldn't stop myself last night. So what I do is I just come over it a second time so that it looks like I was drunk drawing. I'm not, by the way. I've had nothing to drink but two cups of tea all day. didn't even drink that today. I did not collect go. I did not pass go. I did not collect 200. I, I love my work from home days because I get so much done. I can be on the phone with work and all right. There's nothing to say that this has to be something exact. Um, now I go in and we're going to start a little bit of shading. What time is it? Oh, I have 15 minutes. Now I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you the aquarella bowl too. I'll show you on this too. I think this is my favorite flower right here. I, I, I'm loving this guy. He's making me really happy. Like it's just sticking out on a page. Oh, I watched such a good movie last night on Netflix. The Fundamentals of Love? No. Oh, crap. The Fundamentals of Caring? Such a good movie. Oh, my goodness. So this was the, it, this is the aquarella bowl. And I, I'll tell you, um, it's not a necessary thing, but as you notice... When you do, it, it's, uh, it's, it's called an aquarella bowl, and it is activated by water. So just keep that in mind. It will go rolling around. If you throw water on this, it will smear and blend and do all kinds of wonderful things. But I just like to, so like in this, we're going to do the same thing. And I could do this with a black pen. It does look like a hibiscus. Just have some things coming out of it. Yeah, okay. Now the Sharpie and the um the Sharpie and the Aquarella bolt don't really get along too well, so be careful that you it's a grease pencil, it's you know, you don't want it to get it on the sharp the tip of your Sharpie, just I usually start with a Sharpie and then I'll work my way out. Um, another thing I do with your Artful Journey members, I do allow everybody to take, we use templates sometimes, like, and they transfer. So if you're not really comfortable com coming from the drawing space, I just ask people to try, if that makes sense. I mean, wouldn't you agree, guys, once you tried, you almost surprised yourself and you didn't know you could do it? I didn't know how to draw. Now I, I allow my, I give myself permission to just do it and make mistakes. Oh, Randy said she didn't like the aquarella bowl. Well, she loves it. It's true. It's like, Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, so there there we go. Everybody's speaking from experience. We we 
I, I think many times we are our wor own worst enemy, and it's like that philosophy of, oh, I can't even draw a stick figure, that one drives me absolutely bonkers. If you tell me you cannot draw a stick figure, you will probably see me just come unhinged. And the reason I do is because I don't know anybody who actually likes to draw stick figures. Like, I have never really met anybody. I mean, like, there's been the occasional, like, I don't know memes or something that I'm sure those guys are doing quite well in the memes department. But I don't know a lot of artists. I mean, can you imagine if Michelangelo knew how to draw um, stick figures and he decided that would be a good idea? I mean, David would look a lot different. Uh, the white pens I have is, uh, here's one, the Uniball Signo and the Jelly Roll. I just got sent these Jelly Rolls, and they seem to work pretty good. I personally like paint. I like to come in with a paint pen. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so this is my thicker pen. Uniball Signo or Jelly Roll. Okay. Oh, that's too funny. I'm sorry. And you also notice that when I draw, um, you'll see me go over the same like lines and thicken them up. of David in my head as a stick figure. <laughs> I mean, aren't we glad that <laughs> I am literally thinking of like the Last Supper. <laughs> the, the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That is not Funny. Oh, Jesus is handing a piece of bread. <laughs> no All right. Uh, Michelangelo painting. It's so funny. I mean, can you imagine? Some, oh my God, the Mona Lisa as a stick figure. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Totally done. Ah, so glad. So glad. Ah. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. That is so funny, though. Yep, so if you're worried about drawing stick figures, think about how they felt. <laughs> I don't even know which way these leaves are going. Ah, oh, shoot, that's hilarious. Okay. I'm just adding leaves to fill spots in. Oh, this little stick with <laughs> little stick with me. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank God for small favors. See, God knew what he was doing when he created. Nobody wants to draw stick figures. Trust me on this. Oh, I am just... The thinker is a stick figure. <laughs> it's so <laughs> All right, I'm going to just come in here real quick. I uh, And then I'm not going to do too much, but this... Remember how I said you can come in? Uh, whoops. I guess I need a little water. Oh, my God. You guys. Oh my god, Tomi's going to watch now watch Hitomi go out and become a world famous there are I do have to say there is a stick figure artist that I do and I have heard of. And he does like funny memes, so I'm not gonna I literally am cutting down what he does, but 
<laughs> you guys, that is just... Uh, that just put me in a... Really good mood. Okay. And I have approximately eight minutes. Now, normally I would not... Or, although I did this morning... I set the timer for 20 minutes to do that sunset. I was forcing myself because I was a little nervous. Sometimes I tend to overthink. Well, not sometimes. Um, I tend to overthink everything. Uh, I'm just coming in and like darkening up. It's almost like I got another whole color coming in here. And now that, yeah. Oh my God, American Gothic. Oh, you guys. What's the one with the... Um, What's the one with, uh, God, let me think, hold on. It's like the farmer and the wife with the porch, the, the pitchfork or whatever. Stick figure. All right. See, just coming back in and adding um, just a little bit. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I mean, let it go. Let it go. Now it looks like I had two different green colors, and I didn't. So there you go. It's the same thing green. All right. I mean, I could do more in the, you know, but I want this to dry. Is this perfect? Nah. American Gothic. Okay, thank you. I didn't know the name of it. Oh, go. All right. So I'm going to just. Ugh. This hot mess of a flower right here. It's just like. It needs something more in it. Ugh. Oh my God, Bob Ross. Can you imagine if Bob Ross painted? Uh, if Bob Ross, oh, you guys. So don't forget the um, postcard challenge is next week in February. We do have another challenge. Of course, I don't know the date of it right now, but normally I do. Um, and these challenges are quick and easy. Now, I know somebody asked me if I include the supplies for the challenges. The challenges are $10. Um, I can't afford to send watercolors to 300 people, uh, unfortunately. Not right now. Uh, maybe after COVID, but not right now. Uh, also, I believe I bought a lottery ticket, so maybe I can. I don't know. Maybe next week I'll be buying you all watercolors. I'm not ruling it out. Let's put it to you that way. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, little stick accidents. <laughs> guys please stop I please stop because Joyce is not going to have me take over her Facebook page when she recognizes what a goofball I am holy guacamole I had to walk away for a minute and boom this is amazing oh goodness okay um, I'm gonna give you one other thing before I pop off and uh, by the way I share everything that I do um, I mean, well not everything uh, I'm taking a bubble bath after this <laughs> you a sped up uh, bath experience. No. Um, oh God. I, I'm sorry. I am not drinking and it's just making me laugh. My mind. <laughs> God, that's what I have on my mind, Lisa. <laughs> All right. I'm done. I, I have to be done because it's just making me laugh so hard. Okay, we have to remove the tape. That's the most fulfilling part of this process is being done and removing the tape. Even though I feel like these need a little help, but uh, I'm sorry. This went downhill into hell in a handbasket really quick. Okay, I'm going to do one other thing, and that's just because I like to do it. Is I, I mentioned the stencil brush, and I'm going to show you a really great use for that. So, uh, God almighty, I am just dying laughing right now in my head. <laughs> Why do I feel like all of us could be hanging out? And... All right, this is a archival ink stamp pad with that stencil brush I was talking about. Um, believe it or not, you guys, 
I'm just, this is like vignetting, you know, bringing the center point of your, I love this stencil brush. It's just real soft. I don't even, this is what I use it for. So I don't even really rinse it off. And then I'm going to, I'm going to take that aquarella bow pencil. Oh, okay. I really, yeah. Okay. I know this looks, it's really, I know sometimes my stuff gets a little darker, but that's, you know, where we started and we're doing watercolors. Uh, so I gotta have a, if anybody just, if anybody just tuned in and is like, I don't know, is watching this and hearing like half the conversation that we just had, I, I might have. <laughs> See, we have a stick figure. I'm telling you, we do have stick figure. And that's such a lie when people say they can't draw stick figures. I'm just going around the tape. Oh, God, you guys. do one other thing and then I'm done I promise I'm gonna take some ah, you guys this is not okay I'm gonna take some this is just some fluid acrylic paint I I decided that this needed like some sort of I don't know punch you know those little ah. Oh goodness, if you guys had told me, you know how bad I want a retreat. Okay, we're gonna remove the, okay, what time is it? Oh, 6.29. Oh, I gotta be careful. Do you know how bad I want a retreat? Okay, we will be doing, that is, that is in our, that is, okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, Sherry, I love you guys too. Uh, this is brilliant. Okay, so the best part of drawing, the best part of waking up is taking the tape off of it. No, okay. Oh, it's so, see that little bit? <laughs> oh shoot, that's not dark enough there. Okay, that's okay. I don't know, this was, I, it's like I threw up flowers. Um, oh. Yeah, I uh, my retreat days are back. I the second we can actually see and lick people's faces, I am back. I'm not joking. I will go back to travel, and no, I don't lick people's faces. It is so satisfying. <laughs> Happy birthday! Is it Shaz? Oh, I didn't know that. I've seen you twice today. Um, yeah. The okay. So it's a little bit brighter sometimes. Oh, you love this one? Patricia says, I love this one. By the way, Tr Patricia. Oh, I don't want to break this. Patricia, this box is for you. I promise it should go out tomorrow. It's oversized. Look at how small that thing is. Okay. Um, I have a, something to send her. Um, Patricia says, I love this one. I hated the other ones you did. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know that's all sarcasm. All sarcasm. That is, um, I'm at the end. Today I have, uh, I've just painted so much. Okay, here's my thing. Art journal to feel good. Uh, if you'd like to join your Artful Journey uh, membership, there's a wait list for that. We only open the doors two times a year. I can tell you when the next time it's coming. No, I can't. Just know that the waitlist people get in first, so uh, or get notified first. Um. <laughs> you are all so welcome. I really, we did this drawing in a half an hour, and I do demos every week. And every week, we'll do tours of my studio. I will show you anything you want to know. And um, God, goddess. God, Tess, I love the way love that is. I will work on these backgrounds. Thanks for understanding. It was kind of like, 
I had something in my brain and I needed to get it out. And I think this was it. So I've completely exhausted the tank today. And um, thank you to the stores who called me today and asked me to take over their Facebook page. If I can't come to you, I will come over the airwaves and we'll do it that way. I'm on the wait list. How long does the club last in the price? Price rises every uh, release. I'm going to tell you the next release is in February. Um, and here's the thing. People ask me this all the time. Why aren't the doors open all the time? The reason is because my content and my focus is on them and not promotion, promotions and all that other stuff that I, goes along with it. And my, I want my focus to be content, 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 and relationships. Actually, it's relationships, 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 content. Here's my tribe hat. This is the hat that I got camping. And literally, this was, see, it says, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, why don't I turn my head? Why is it like that? Love my tribe. That's what it says. So um, I was camping and saw that. By the way, your Artful Journey members, we meet when, uh, Friday morning for morning meditation. What is morning meditation? It is 20 minutes to jumpstart your creativity. Okay? That would be Friday morning at 8, and we added a second morning meditation. Uh, I can't remember the date. I want to say January 22nd because you guys love morning meditation so much. I ordered a second, or I ordered a second. I put another one in there because that's part of my daily ritual. Why not just turn the camera on? And yes, isn't this the cutest hat in the whole wide world? I got it in the camping store and I knocked over an entire wood display looking at it. It was like up above and I, like a bull in a china shop. You guys, it was hilarious. I knocked over the whole wood display of signs, walked right into it. It's on my calendar as morning medication. <laughs> All right, um, I guess having time off did my mind, body, and spirit some good. It was hard to get back into it, um, but uh, this weekend I will be filming content for uh, the next six or eight months for your artful journey. That's why I already said everything through March is scheduled. So morning medication, we might need to rename that. Okay. Um, I want to thank you guys. I hope you all learned something. I know we went a little long today, but that seems to be in the cards. And um, you guys are the best. I This is, uh, uh, if you build it, they will come. I'm still building. Aim. Aim high. All right. I have to go eat dinner. Haven't even eaten yet. Thank you. Do something creative. Here's the other thing. Share. Uh, share tag me. Message me, connect your uh, art, connect to me in some way. I don't care if it's via homing pigeon. If I wake up in the morning and there's 75 homing pigeons sitting on my front porch, you'll make me so happy. Your Artful Journey members, I will see you Friday morning. Thank you so much for this experience. We are starting 2021 with a bang, and it just warms my heart. I needed tonight more than you guys needed it, um, but thank you, um, Dorothy. Uh, bath time, tacos. Talk, talk to y'all soon.